Well, gay uh, face on. Gay face. What's yes. the gay face? Solicitor Sandy. <laughs> Come on, get out of here. <laughs> we got this. <laughs> Forget on my dude, my G. <laughs> It's not hot compared to the hot slides they use in Hollywood. <laughs> I know. My name is Chuka. It's not coming in. Man, my hair. Yes. God. Let's start. Let's start. You see, it's not it's not fluid anymore. That's it's okay. Camera now. That's fine. You know you're wearing a camera. I call it anyway. It's okay. Let's start. Hey. Hi. My name is Joko Tade Shinowo. I'm the lead photographer and creative director at Posh Thick Portraiture. Okay, what attracted you to this career path? Um, I'll kind of say that it fell into my lap. I discovered my love for photography one day with my friends. We're having a discussion after Thursday showers at uni and they were going on and on about how a lady should always have something else she can fall back on aside its career and I was like oh no I'm not interested in anything it made they even tried to suggest some things to me makeup um I think was, I can't remember the other things they tried to suggest to me and I, I just wasn't budging I had my I, I had my plans like all laid out but while we're still in the room just seeing, someone just took my phone and went through all the pictures on my phone and then she said wow you have so, so many pictures you have about 1600 pictures like back then this was 2007 i think it was 2008 yeah and she's like you have so many pictures like why do you have so many pictures and i'm like okay hold on i love photography and that was my light bulb moment that was the moment i realized okay i really love this thing and then i went uh, I went after it and posted it and called my sister and I'm like, oh my god. I started me, oh, I just realized I love, love photography. Can you hook me up with someone who does photography really well? And that was the beginning of the journey. Yeah. And to the next one. When did you consider yourself a success? Sucking me. <laughs> success. Far from there. I'm far from where I want to be. Even though I'm the one who steady keeps shifting the goalposts. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm really, really, really far from it. I'm not there yet. Yeah. Um, how do you push through your worst times? How do I push through my worst times? Yeah, I think I push through my worst times by... Number one, by leaving everything to God and also putting in more work because the only way you can go through a bad time well in photography i would assume maybe it would be like a feeling down you don't feel good enough or whatever just put in more work and then you start to feel good again i think more work yeah absolutely god and more work um what are your success habits what are your success habits wow Okay. number one like everything i do revolves around god so one of my success habits is prayer fighting hard work consistency quality um not giving into uh, mediocrity and not following um the popular trend yeah i, I think well, not fully giving into popular trends. Let me rephrase that. Yeah, that's it. Because you need to be aware. Then, but, but if you don't know who you are, then you get you know dragged away from who you are. And then you probably might just need to start all over again. That happened to me once. So I'm talking from experience. To the next one. Um, what would be your greatest achievements in your line of business? Hmm. Okay. My greatest achievement for now would be when I can just decide to jet off for about a month to an island, sipping pina colada, and then the business is thriving without me. How awesome would that be? 
I know, right? That'll be cool. What keeps you awake at night? Hmm. What keeps you awake? My family and my work keeps me awake at night. My family, being my kids, my husband, my home in general. My family, yeah, like, I definitely want to raise well-rounded kids, you know, who are good at everything and who are kingdom children, most importantly. And all the things that are just going on right now in the world, like, it just scares me, like, Sometimes I really cannot sleep. I, I, I just stay up and I'm wondering, like, what's it going to be like when they are 20, 18, 25, 30? Like, I really get scared and I really hope and pray that Nigeria gets better and the world in general, really. Yeah, my work, my work, my work is my, like, my first baby before I go married. Like, what should this be? So everything about it keeps me up on from from my team to my equipment to our clients to the work everything pretty much because i just want everything to be perfect even though i know like it's difficult to get everything perfect but you know at least we can near perfection so yeah and nearing perfection doesn't come cheap doesn't come easy Wants a lot of sleepless nights yeah until the next one Hmm. Yeah, what motivates you to get out of bed in the morning to do what you do? What motivates me to get out of bed? Hmm. The need to be relevant. The need to fulfill my dreams. The need to make people feel beautiful. The need to make people see themselves in a better light than they already see themselves. You know, I've gotten responses like, oh, you've made me a lot more conf confident about who I am. You've, you've made me value myself more. Oh, I'm about to take on the world with this portrait you've created of me. You know, so all those things just make me want to just do more and give that love and share that love with other people like you know you're not supposed to contain greatness i mean you let it all out <laughs> yeah so that that gives me the motivation to come out um yeah to get out of bed every morning and um yeah and also to to see that i'm impacting my society giving people a hope helping people to learn a skill yeah, I think, yeah, that, that helps me get out of bed in the morning. That makes me feel really good. Next one. What are the major challenges you have faced in the past and currently face? And what steps did you take then? And the current steps you are taking to fix things? Major challenges. Major challenges. Okay, yeah. So I would say the like the major challenge I I have faced, which is recurrent anyway, is um, always training, training our team members. Like it's like a it's like a lot of work because you know you learn new things every time and you you just have to like pass it on to everyone so that we are all on the same frequency because it, it doesn't make any sense if you're the only one who knows it and you can't pass it on to others like so i would say training i face it then i'm still facing it now yeah pretty much training because keeping up with trends I, I, I wouldn't see that as, a, as an issue because for me i look out for information yeah when i find it then i decide do i want it do i want to run with it or not if not then i trash it and keep doing what I need to do. But if it's information that I want, I take some of it, add it to what I do already, see if it enhances it. If it does, fine. We continue using it. If not, out the bin. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, then another major challenge I would say is um, trying to structure the business. Like, yeah, because for a creative, it's very difficult you know trying to act like a business person you know trying to put those proper structures in place making sure that oh you have like an admin team or you have like a marketing plan or you have like a strategy to you know for 
for for growth business growth and whatnot like it's it's a, it, sometimes it's like a daunting task but psh, i try to do the bit i can and what has also helped in recent times is collaborating with other um creatives you know we sit down together and try and build our structures together so you know like they say two heads are better than one yeah. so that's how i've been able to resolve that um Next question who inspires you in your field who do you consider a mentor and why i'm sure everybody knows this ty bello and surprise surprise forever baby oh yeah so those two women they're so special in my life like i don't even know what i would do without them like so ty i met early on in my career and you know she just changed like she was like she was my big picture at the time like big screen i only spent one day with her and i just thought oh my god photography is so glamorous this is it for me and then i haven't i haven't looked back since then i haven't looked back and then sue bryce i i found out about sue bryce in 2000 and i think it was 2012 yeah it was 2012 a friend of mine gave me um gave me um a video i think it was she was on creative life so he bought the video and then yeah and then i watched and he and i discovered super and i was just blown away i'm like how can someone you know decide to just single herself out and create amazing image that would normally not resonate with other people and she's thriving at it and then i love the fact that she created um the platform which is surprise education which has helped a lot of photographers like transform their businesses from zero to like six figures she's amazing full stop so you should all check out surprise she's awesome yeah next person my next question sorry how do you handle situation when under pressure i just keep my cool everyone knows i'm a patient person at least that's like one gift god gave to me like i'm super patient i just look at you inhale and exhale apologize if i have to yeah, I'm super cool when under pressure. I don't think I don't I don't snap, no. I don't go crazy. I don't go gaga, no. That's all. I keep my cool. Yeah. Um Do you work better with a team or you don't? Of course with a team. Teamwork makes the dream work, baby. All the time. Team push click. Wakanda forever. <laughs> yeah teamwork definitely you know like they always say if you want to go go uh, is it fast now yeah if you want to go fast go alone but if you want to go far no is it if you want to go far go alone no. i don't know some something like that's not good. but teamwork definitely all day every day yeah what are your main strengths and weaknesses my strength Hmm. My strength is in. I don't know. My strength is in God. I think. I know. Yeah. My strengths. Um. My strengths would be. Uh. I think. The ability to notice like the tiniest details. Yeah. And. Yeah. The ability to create gorgeous work. Yeah. I think that's it. My weaknesses, I'm super slow. Like I'm very slow. I'm super slow at what I do, like super super slow. Like I'm so I'm so finicky that I keep on paying attention. Oh it's a little bit here. This 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 chain looks a little, you know, this this part, this outfit is wrong pulled and I'm like the clients will notice. Why why are you just disturbing yourself? But yeah. That's me. Okay. What else? What do you do to continuously develop your skills? Um, that's pretty easy. 
I keep learning. The day you stop learning is the day you die. So I, I learn all the time. I learn from my colleagues. I learn from just walking around. I try to see better all the time. I try to find a better way to use my camera. I try to find a better way to use my lighting. I try to look for new things to learn about, not necessarily you know, pertaining to my craft, which is photography. It could be psychology. It could be fashion. It could be documentary. It could be, just name it, learning how to sell fabric. It could be, um, it could be nursery rhymes, cartoons. I just try. I just try to see differently at different times. And I also um, attend conferences. I attend workshops. I attend, you know, photography meetings. Anywhere I see people that do what I do, yeah, I, I will. That we have common goals in mind. Yeah, that's very important. Just not um, random meetings. Yeah, um, yeah. Pretty much that's it. I keep learning. YouTube videos. Just name it. Trying to learn how to run a better business, how to build structure. So there's there's really no end to learning. You really cannot know it all. Yeah. So I think that's about it. Um, what is the worst scenario you have faced in your career, and how did you solve it? Worst scenario? I can't think of any. Nah. Worst scenario? God has been good. Okay, Jesus, it is well. <laughs> Moving on. What do you love about your job? Ah. I love so many things about my job. I love the fact that I can... I, I love the fact that I create um, family heirlooms for for generations to come. You know, like, it's it's a beautiful thing because just yesterday I was having a conversation with someone and she was like, oh, she doesn't even understand the reason behind um, um, wedding albums or having um, printing your photos. I'm like, it's not for you to appreciate it now. It's for decades after that's when you appreciate what you have because if you're looking at it maybe just like three months later you're just like oh okay okay it's just another picture but imagine looking at that same picture like 10 years down the line or when you started age aging and you have like fine lines all over your face you know come on you're going to appreciate that youthful look you know all those beautiful memories you created or you have you know you have um proof of like when you got married and stuff yeah so I absolutely love that about my job. I also love the fact that I make people come alive. I make people feel better about themselves. I make people feel more confident and more aware about who they are and more intentional about what they will what they will start to do. Yeah. So I I love that about my job. And I also like like the fact that I impact other people with knowledge. You know, it's like people tell me all the time, like Joke, I think you should just go fully into teaching. Like I really love to teach. It brings me joy to teach to pass on what I know onto others. So yeah, those are the things that bring me joy. Yeah, and of course, making people look beautiful, like Coco. Yeah, yeah. On to the next one. Um, is is this the best decision you have ever made? Why? Um, I really don't know. I really don't. I guess yes. Yes, one of the best decisions I've ever made. Moving on. Do you have any regrets on your career path? Not at all. None whatsoever. I absolutely love it. Where do you vision your career path in the future? Hmm. A whole lot of things. Yeah. We'll have to wait to see how that pans out. I'm not a fan of saying what you're going to do, you know, before you do it. So we're going to have to wait. And probably, you know, I'll give another, uh, another interview. And then you can follow up on me. Yeah. Okay. Any advices for your younger self? Hmm. That would be to be more intentional to be hardworking, to be consistent. Yeah, that would be the advice to my younger self. Um, finally, what advices do you have for the youth in particular who are able to get to where you are? Um, don't back down, be diligent at what you do, put God first, and every other thing will follow, like literally every other thing will follow. Just put God first, yeah. And um, be ready to serve and be ready to learn. That's about it. Trivial questions for me. Hmm. How would you describe yourself in one word? In one word. One word is not enough to describe me. <laughs> it's not. But I'll just say fun. Yeah. Strong. Yeah, strong. Fun. Fun and strong. Fun strong. Yeah. 
Okay, uh, what would be the closest, what would the closest people in your life say if we ask them the characteristic that they totally enjoy about you and the one that drives them insane? <laughs> That's awful. Uh, characteristic that they totally enjoy about me. I think that would be, that would be that. I'm fun to be around. I'm a lively person. Yeah, I think that's it. I like you, you can never be sad where I am. I just I keep the energy positive. All about positive energy, baby. Positive. We don't do negative. No negative vibes. Always happy. Yeah. Um, but the one that drives them insane. Oh yeah, I never respond to my messages. Like that really sucks. I don't read my messages. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure everyone wants to kill me for that. Yeah, um, next thing, uh, if we ask a bunch of people who know you to give us three adjectives that best describe you, what would they say? Please, somebody give me an expo. Can somebody give me an expo? We are now strong, fun, <laughs> creative. See, someone just gave me all that expo. Do you have to be me? You heard it from him. Well, you can't see him, but he said it. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, in case you didn't hear that. Fun, strong, creative. You got that? Right. Okay. Tell us something that's true that almost nobody agrees with you. Hey, hey! I've always been saying it. I'm lazy. Hmm. My laziness knows no problem. Oh Lord. But people argue with me. If you, they, they always tell me that if you, if you think you're lazy the way you are, then how would you be like when you are not lazy? They don't understand how much I can achieve. That's why I feel like this. Like I know I can I have the capabilities to do so much, but I'm not, I'm not using it a lot. So yeah, I think I'm lazy, but people don't agree with me. Um, next one on a scale of one to ten, how weird are you? Maybe five. I'm not super weird. I'm, I'm just pretty cool. Yeah. Awesome. Any particular hobby you love doing? Ooh, 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 ooh. Singing and dancing. That's what I love to do. That was my hobby till I discovered photography, you know. Yeah, so singing and dancing. Are you a music? Of course I am. What genres of music are you into? Name some songs. I <laughs> that was a call. I just had to cut it off. Okay. Um, name some name some of the songs and artists. I love all sorts of music. I like all manners of music. Like even if you even if you play like a Zulu song for me, as long as I am just in tune with the beat, like I'm just moving. I might not even know the artist. I might not know this. Just say uh, good music. You know, beats. I'm all for the beats. All for the sounds. Let's go. Yeah. Until the next one. Let's go. Uh, do you watch movies? What kind of movies are you into? Oh Lord. Don't don't judge me using this. I love high school romance movies. <laughs> That's what I've always loved. And it hasn't changed. <laughs> always. Do not judge me. However, I love Nigerian soap operas. <laughs> I know I'm very weird. Like not taste it anymore. Yeah. Hush. Um there's this other one that just ended now. Battleground. Yeah, Jimeji. Yeah, all those Nigerian um soap operas pushed out by like, what's this guy's name now? Odukbemi. Femi Odukbemi. Yeah. I love I, I I absolutely love watching them like it's 8 p.m. I'm glued to my TV. Ready. To take my dose of them. Yeah. Um how about sports? No, not a sport fan. I don't do sports. Yeah. What is your favorite quote? You're always enough. Never let anybody tell you anything different. You're always, always, always enough. And the second favorite one would be on the other side of fear is freedom. So never let fear box you in. Step out and give you freedom. Um, any ni favorite Nigerian dish you enjoy eating? Of course, beans. Beans. I love beans. 
I love this. Even though I'm not a twin, and I don't have kids that are twins, and my husband isn't a twin, but I love this. And yeah, peace out. It's a wrap. Hi, my name is Joko Tadi Shinowo. I'm the lead photographer and creative director of Posh Lake Portraiture. You're watching Solid Six Side TV. This is how I did it.